एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अनदर टूटोरियल सीरीज इन मैट लुक्स इफेक्ट्स दिस टाइम इट्स बेसिक कंपोजिटिंग व्हिच इंक्लूड्स क्लीन अप रोटो बीजी एक्सटेंशन एंड सम टू डी कंपोजिटिंग एज वेल हियर इन दिस फुटेज वी हैव ए लेडी हु इज डूइंग रॉक क्लाइंबिंग एंड वी आर गोना डू सम क्लीन अप फॉर दोस रोप्स द बीजी इज इजीली ट्रैकेबल एंड वी कैन प्रेप दिस रोप इजीली इंस्टेड ऑफ मैन्युअली पेंटिंग इट वी विल आल्सो ट्राई टू रिमूव ऑल दिस रोप्स व्हिच इज हैंगिंग अराउंड हर वेस्ट दिस कैन बी कंसीडर्ड लिटिल कॉम्प्लिकेटेड बट लेट्स सी I hope you guys will learn something from this for sure. I have already made a prep series where I showed the folder structure which I follow for any project. Do check those videos. There are certain things which can be done by some other ways too and I never claim this is the one and only method. The intention of this series is to show how I will finish this short with the knowledge I acquired from my experience. So the first step is to create a clean plate and according to me the best tool for that is Silhouette. Comment down your choices as well. I will adjust this bit here. Okay there is an OFX version in Nuke which is very handy for a preparatist and compositor as well Deleting this and I'm going to try something different this time I'm copying the input path let's open the Silhouette standalone app and we have Silhouette latest version here okay this should be the default interface First I'm going to create a new project set a path for the project and give a name I recommend to use the short name as it's help in following the pipeline like many studios. Here we go. Okay, double click and choose the footage. Just drag it into the workspace and create a session. You can use your task name here. Choosing paint template as we are going to do a clean plate. And there are lot other options which almost automatically fills up. Just confirm everything and create a session. The footage is loaded. and session is created let's do a playback to catch the input i will say always spend some time analyzing the footage and note down the steps to follow in a notepad it really helps we are going to remove this hanging wire first let's start in the last frame uh, don't follow any rules while painting in silhouette there are many tools here so use accordingly let's take clone tool I always do a rough removal at first and one of my lead taught me this and and now also I follows that religiously. It will take some time to do a clean plate. Make sure the quality is awesome uh, as the whole work will be dependent on this. Always make sure to follow continuity in plate and also match lighting as well. It's very important. I am doing it slowly as I told the quality of clean plate is very important. Let's come over here. Here as the rope is moving a lot, we need to check other frames as well for revealing. Make sure to use the original source to the maximum. Let's learn a trick here. We are going to do some tracking for the BG. Create a layer. Let's draw a spline. And let's track. cool it's done i think we have a solid track here checking in stabilize mode it's looking all right for me let's come back to the paint properties and give the reference frame as one press caps lock or q to match the reference frame it's not matching here So come to this option select the exact track layer click on source match move still not matching okay click on this reset button okay now it's matching and we are able to reveal back input very easily from the whole work range also you can use the arrow keys for matching it wow that looks so good make sure the lighting also is matching or else use the cc properties Okay I'm going to be silent and you can watch the cleanup process here. Uh, I'm afraid it will become boring if I explain the whole ABCD. <laughs> By the way if you are looking for unramped footage of this removal task click on join button in YouTube and 
Also, that's a huge support for my work. Make sure to use the color and detail options as it's super handy sometimes. I think we have removed the portion of wire in our task. Let's render and take this to nuke for doing the prep. Select the path to render and click on render button. There are some options here which are super handy sometimes. Do comment down if you want to know more about any of these options. Clicking on this preview button and render. It's taking some time to render. Once render is done, let's save the silhouette file and get back to Nuke. I will arrange this a bit. Taking a sticky note, this is to keep an organized way for my work style. Type input. And let's give the font size to 25 so that it is visible enough. Now as we have the clean plate done, other important thing is tracking. Let's take a mocha tracker OFX version inside Nuke and it's super easy. Click on this launch button. Taking a while to load. I have tons of tutorials for Mocha Pro tracking and its properties as well. So I am probably gonna ram the tutorial further. Watch carefully guys. Watch carefully here.
So in this tutorial we just did a clean plate for the screen right rope and we have done a mocker tracking for the prep. Let's continue the series from here in the next tutorial. Make sure to click that like button and write an awesome comment. As I already told 50 likes and 25 comments. That's my target before uploading next video. And until next tutorial, it's Manu signing off. Bye bye.